The Sanjay Gandhi National Park in Mumbai is a unique national park situated within the municipal limits of Mumbai, suburban Mumbai, Vasai Virar, Meera Bhaindar and Thane districts. It is one amongst the few national parks in India which has a maximum number of tourists visiting it. SCNP is also known for the highest density of leopards it supports. Hi, so what I'm doing here is I'm setting a small camera trap which is going to take me close to the secret life of leopards. As the sun goes down, activity in the forest increases. The night heron, the small Indian civet, all sorts of animals start moving out in search of food. And so does the leopard. They prefer to hunt in the night's darkness when human activity is low. The forests of SCNP show presence of prey in all shapes and sizes, ranging from the Hanuman langurs to the common mongoose, the barking deer. We also have the beautiful spotted deer, commonly known as the cheetal. And the largest of all, sambar deer. When on a hunt, nothing can distract a leopard. Our research shows that wild prey contribute to 57% of the leopard's diet. The remaining 43% is represented by the domestic prey. Domestic or free-ranging dogs show the highest single species contribution in the leopard's diet. After the leopard has spent a busy night of marking and maintaining territories and roaming in search of food, Dawn finds the leopard tired and sleepy. The daytime is usually spent sleeping and resting on treetops, dry stream beds or cool rocky caves like this one. Once the leopards have found a mate for the season, the next couple of days are spent in courtship and short duration intercourses at regular intervals. The wild growl given by the leopards can be considered as a gesture of love towards each other. After a short gestation period of approximately 3 months, the female gives birth to a litter of 2 to 3 cubs. These cubs spend about 18 to 24 months with their mother learning survival skills and then venture out by themselves looking for their own territories. On a couple of occasions, we found leopards and people getting photographed in the same camera trap. And this was not only on forest trails, but also on trails next to their own houses. When I joined this uh, National Park as its director a year back, I was amazed as to the close proximity in which leopards and humankind lived here. In fact, I wanted to learn more about it. In this video, you see a leopard next to a house drinking water peacefully. At the very next moment, you see him running away. And the reason for running becomes crystal clear when the window opens and two heads pop out. Leopards tend to run away at the sight of humans. This big cat has adapted itself very well to the city life. They visit human settlements in search of easy prey, but avoid humans at the same time. The leopards have acquired the art of living with humans by avoiding confrontation with them. It's our turn now to learn the art of living with leopards. <laughs>